Plastics can be classified in many different ways, such as their chemistry, structure, and behavior. Another way to describe polymers is how they behave when heated. They can be either thermosets or thermoplastics. Some common examples of thermosets are these shoe soles or this piece of foam. Some common thermoplastics are this contact lens case or this marker. Let's first talk about thermosets. When they are heated and cooled, a process called curing occurs that gives them a permanently set shape. Once the thermoset cools and hardens, it cannot be melted again. Instead, it will burn if you try to heat it. You can think of thermosets as responding to heat in the same way that an egg does. When you heat an egg, it hardens and becomes permanently cooked. Once you've cooked it, there's no going back to the raw form. Thermoplastics, on the other hand, like this contact lens case, soften and melt when you heat them. What's nice about this is that you can heat and reshape the melted plastic into a new form. This is different from thermosets, which cannot be remelted or reshaped. You can think of thermoplastics acting more like an ice cube than an egg. You can heat up the ice cube, melt it, and then cool it back down to fit any shape you want. Here we have a stick of butter and a pancake. Which one of these two foods behaves more like a thermoset, and which one behaves more like a thermoplastic? If you answered that butter acts like a thermoplastic, and the pancake acts like a thermoset, you're right. As you can see, the butter melts when heated, but the pancake burns. So why does this happen? When thermosets are heated, the polymer chains begin attaching to each other in a process called cross-linking. The cross-links give the thermoset a permanent 3D structure and makes them more resistant to melting. Thermoplastics, on the other hand, do not cross-link when heated. Instead, the polymer chains in the thermoplastics become fluid and can slide past each other, which causes them to melt. This makes it easy to shape thermoplastics into whatever form you want, such as bottles, sunglasses frames, or pen caps. It also makes thermoplastics easier to recycle. Now that we've gone over the differences between thermosets and thermoplastics, it's time for a quiz. Would a plastic bag be considered a thermoset or a thermoplastic? How about a car tire? Plastic bags melt when heated and can be recycled, so they are thermoplastics. Car tires are heat resistant and can't be melted. They are thermosets. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Erase. I erase the thing. What? Is it gonna look, we're gonna have to stop it though. Like we have to rewrite. Cause she's erasing and then you move. You can just the... video edit it. You can just cut that no, clip out. No, I know what you mean. Let, uh, let's just erase it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You can just cut out. You can just cut out that clip. No, but I, it did move a little bit, so I had to move oh, it. Oh, you mean the board? Oh, you, yeah. you moved the board. Yeah. Oh, so I have to write thermosets and thermoplastics, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 sir, no, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. What? T H E R. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Write it a little bit further down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just getting close to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll spell this. I got this. H E R M O S E. Whoa. Yeah, I'll put it down. Hold on. Is there something on the surface? Put it down.
<laughs> no, what is that? Do you see that? Yeah. Oh 